In this video, I am going to describe why the presence of a heavy nucleus is necessary for pair production to occur. Pair production is a process in which a fast moving photon converts into electron and a positron. Positron is the antiparticle of electron with exactly same mass but opposite charge. As electron and positron are oppositely charged, so in this process there is no violation of law of conservation of charge. And as a fast moving energetic photon is converted into electron and positron, so there is no violation of conservation of energy also in this process. But one important law of conservation of a physical quantity is violated when it occurs in vacuum. We are going to see which law is violated if it occurs in vacuum. So when a fast moving photon with suppose momentum Pi is converted into an electron with some momentum suppose uh, P prime and a positron with momentum suppose P double prime. At this point the total initial momentum is Pi that is we have the initial momentum as Pi and total final momentum at this point is P prime plus P double prime. Electron and positron will move exactly opposite in direction so P prime will be equal to minus P double prime that is P prime is equal to minus times P double prime and if we put this equation here then we get minus p double prime plus p double prime as our final momentum and our initial momentum is pi while our final momentum is zero so law of conservation of momentum is violated that is total initial momentum and total final momentum are not same we can save this conservation when there is a heavy nucleus nearby that is we have a photon which is moving with some momentum suppose pi and there is a heavy nucleus there with some atomic number z as nucleus is positively charged so in the nearby there should be a strong electric field and due to this strong electric field a virtual photon is emitted from this nucleus with some momentum which is exactly equal to pi but opposite in direction that is the momentum of this virtual photon is minus pi and at this point when these two photons interact the pair production process occur in which electron and positron are created in this process we at this point the total initial momentum is pi minus pi and the total final momentum which is again suppose this is p prime and positron is exactly in the opposite direction so its momentum will be equal to minus p prime that is the total final momentum is p prime minus p prime that is now total initial momentum is zero and the total final momentum is zero as total initial momentum is equal to total final momentum so law of conservation of momentum is valid in this case Hence, for the conservation of momentum, this heavy nucleus should be there for pair production to occur.